Ah. Where was I? Right, yes. So, controller. And that's the output there. Three phase output under the button. Input from the battery. Contactor. Uh, obviously, the 48 volt input coming in here through the contactor. Through a choke coil, <laughs> if you can call it that. Chokes are your little tiny thing into the controller and then three phase out to the three phase to the motor through another choke. We've got there, <coughs> so that's DC DC converter. Hang on a sec, is it though? It says input 48 volts, output 1.25. That can't be right. I don't know what that is then. Yeah, that's quite strange. Watts 500, maybe I don't know because you've got this here as well. So I don't know if they're all inputs or summit. That's the so we've got a serial lead here. <coughs> See, and it goes in to here. There you go, serial lead, and then there's the this is the loom, that bit there is the loom, and there's your S, so that's a controller, can bus stuff, and it shows you which can channel, it looks like the can channel there, fuses your stuff, I think this is the this is the charger definitely, nice and warm now because it's charging, and I don't know if it has a 12 volt, it's all loop, because I've got 12, yeah. <clears throat> so this is a positive, yeah. It's coming in, and then you're taking it off for the. So why? Where's that going? Sorry. Oh, it's going into here. It's actually going into this loop. Look where that goes. Round there. Hmm. I'm not sure. Forty-eight volt. <coughs> yeah, uh, looks like another relay of some sort. And then we've got this. This is the uh, the seat. Uh, I I don't know if it's a heater of some sort. And then these are the outputs. One connects to there, which I just disconnected it. And then the other one's on there. Okay, I think either it's a pressure pad to detect if somebody's sitting in the seat, or or not. Yeah. Oh, I can remove the seat that way, using those bolts, I might do that. Because it's easier to reach those, I think, than the, uh, the other ones. I want to find out how to get this seat back out. Because <coughs> currently it doesn't... Uh, so wait, put that down, you see. And currently it's a question of how. Because that seems to be in there. And then you've got one in there, and there doesn't seem to be any way of getting in there with something to remove it. So I'm not sure of how that's done. It is possible that you have to remove it from the other side. <coughs> and I'm going to check it out underneath. Yeah, here we are. So it says here... Uh, let's get that off. Uh, what we've got? Charger and DC-DC converter. So that's another one. 400 watts at 13.5 volts, so that's the, going to be the one for the 12 volts. Yeah. So I don't know what the other one is. And then that's charging at 2 point something kilowatts, 57 volts. Yeah. Charger shunt, 40 amps. I don't know what that is. <coughs> yeah. Those are the bolts that come out of that hole there, and the hole there, which is the ones that hold the seat base in place. Uh, I guess that's a big resistor. Perhaps the charger shunt that he's talking about. I don't know. Well, yeah, but anyway. <coughs> so, let's see back again. <coughs> yeah. So that's that. Yeah. 
and it's all here this is the whole electronics of the car it is basically here and there's obviously some in the dash but this is the stuff that makes the thing work because what you're looking at underneath the base underneath which is actually fiberglass <coughs> is the outside of the car yeah and it's a pretty pretty good place to put it really to be honest under the seat because then you can just lift the seat away as I have done to get access to it not somewhere and you don't really need to access there's nothing serviceable here you know I mean eventually maybe the contactor will go that's pretty much it though yeah okay <coughs> now let's go underneath let's see if we can get some pickies there's the motor it's in the motor before let's see if I can get a picture of the uh, plate I don't know so it's kind of covered, isn't it? I might be able to resolve it afterwards. Uh, I think that... I don't know if I can pull a picture out from that. I might do some stills. And then we've got the three-phase input, which we saw coming down from the top. And control-wise. <laughs> Let's try to see what's going on underneath. Sussing it out a bit. Yeah, uh, okay now. Yeah, uh, it's my phone actually, I'm just taking videos and look at them afterwards sort of thing, you know. Okay now. <laughs> so, and that's all that from there. I think I'll take some stills. We've got an input here. The mains is up there somewhere. Uh-huh. And then we've got... Uh, I'm not sure what that is. And then stuff there, I don't know. And we'll look at it afterwards. Alright, let's get some stills in. Oh. <sighs> 